Ain't I a woman? I am a woman. I am Arab. Uh, and yes, I am a feminist actually. And there's no contradiction between that. And I'm creating a space where there is no contradiction between Arab and feminist and human as well. Uh, and woman. So, uh, no, there is a, it's not a contradiction, and I don't think we are missing anything uh, not to be able to create our own Arab feminist discourse, and we are already doing it. And I expect solidarity from all feminists in the world. That. that assumption itself is very racist. I mean, what what is to, to, to have a concept that feminism, for example, has to be white. Yeah? Um, it's a very non-feminist point of view to, to think that women who are fighting for their rights uh, only because uh, the world right now, hege the, the hegemonic forces are the Western forces, so we know a lot about what happens in the West. That does not mean uh, it doesn't happen anywhere else. It just means that we're not hearing about it. So the problem isn't that there are silences. The problem is that there, si these silences are created and they're and they're made. So the question is what? So this idea, oh, how can there uh, can there be a Muslim feminist or an Arab feminist? Of course, can there be? Can, the the real question would be, well, how can there be a white feminist if a lot of the majority of white people are racists? Why don't we ask that question? It's, I mean, these are, the assumption here would be that there are fixed categories, yeah? And that women in the Arab world are oppressed, Muslim women are oppressed. And so, I mean, in, it really, I think one shouldn't even engage those sorts of questions, to be honest. <laughs> Hello. There is a sort of uh, idea that all of these uh, progressive concepts are concepts that came out uh, yani, of a recent tradition of thinking about yani, the rights of people and mm. people in society. Mm. Uh, but uh, the fact is that yani, when feminism became very famous in different parts of the world, the only reason it wasn't as popular in our region is because first in our region is not... Yani, people don't hear about the things that have happened. Mm. So there's a lot of history history that's now being dug up about you know, discourses mm. around feminism that were here in the 1800s, in the 1900s, mm. and in you know, more recent history. Mm. I do that first. Mm. Uh, second of all, and to be a true feminist is to deconstruct the essence of you belonging to like one part of the globe or the other parts mm. of the globe. So I don't think it's fair to say that a theory, mm. that's a, 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 a philosophical theory or a school of thought mm. or a, a whole body of knowledge would be something that comes out of one place of the world and is then exported to different places. Mm. The only thing is that uh, uh, you hear more about it from mm. the people who have louder voices, yes. of course. Uh, so I don't think, I think it's actually something amazing to be both Arab and to be a feminist. Mm. And it's a much bigger challenge mm. because it is, and that's just in my opinion, we are creating what I believe is a new wave of Arab feminist thought, and I believe that uh, globally, in the global feminist movement, yani, with all respect to all other regions, I believe that we are the missing link still in this global discourse. Uh, and I have a lot of faith that, that this new uh, congregation of people uh, is the group that will bring around uh, this addition to the movement.